bring in a look at how the Rockies will line up defensively. It's brought to us by the folks in Beltre. We'll stand in and you see what he's done over the past four games, as hot as they come. On the move is Rios. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And they're not going to get Rios. It's a stolen base. Maybe once or twice. Three and one now. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Here's a swing, and oh, man! Way out of here! Too much for him there, one and two. And now, with runners at the corners and two strikes, this is a spot where you've got to make... Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. On to first, and the Rockies fail to cash in as that ends the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors. Now, where do you go from here? I think he's set up for something off speed. I mean, if you can put that change up below his knees, you won't come within a foot of it. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. back up the middle and oh dear that caught him full bore on the mound as it ricochets back toward the plate and pretty fortunate here as they do wind up getting the out at first although the runner will advance to second Tanner Shepherds will stand in and you have to figure that he'll likely be swinging the bat now First pitch fastball runs a bit too high. It's ball one. Now here's a line drive out to left center. That's over the head of Tulowitzki for a base hit. Throw in from Gonzalez is going to hold that runner now at third base. Alex Rios will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And the slider hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Blackman is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And he'll make it in to score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3-1 hit. No errors and a runner left. Leading off for the Rockies. Charlie Blackman will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. in the box so he steps out and asks for time Daniel Murphy will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning now a chopper to first might only get one and he'll just beat the throw to second he's in there and you know what? This is always a really difficult throw for a first baseman because he has to deal with the runner who's headed to second base. And also, that runner can sometimes screen the shortstop that's covering the bag. And in the end, this one gets thrown away. And the route is on now. It's a home run. So a three-run fielder will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Daniel Murphy, who will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. Shinsu Chu will stay in the ballgame now and take over in left field. Carlos Gonzalez will start things off for the Rockies with Justin Morneau due to follow next. Robbie Ross will come on now as he'll start out the bottom of the sixth. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And that's a fair ball as Rios will head over to try and cut it off. Around third, Gonzalez heading home. 
And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Swing and a hard grounder down the line at third. Throw on to fielders in time, and with that, the side is retired. I have to imagine there's a... Welcome back to Coors Field here in Denver. The Rangers on top in this one as we get a look at our game. Jordan Pacheco is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. Carlos Gonzalez will stand in now in one of the bigger at-bats of the ballgame to this point as he'll do so with the bases loaded. And that key hit still hasn't shown up yet. And like you say, you've got the bases loaded. You just wonder, how many more of these opportunities are you going to get? And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Tough spot here for a left-handed hitter, facing a guy that's exceptionally tough on lefties. Yeah, you generally get so many at-bats against right-handed pitching. Now you're in a good RBI spot, and you're stuck facing a guy like this. And this is why, as a hitter, Working the count in your favor is so important. I mean, here, this is probably a ball, but you can't risk taking this pitch on one and two and hope that you get the benefit of the umpire's call. You pretty much have to swing at it, even though you probably wouldn't have been able to do much with it in the first place. Swing and a ground ball, and this should get him out of it. On to first, and the Rockies fail to cash in as that ends the inning. Rockies leave them loaded. They trail six to one. Your attention, please. So a new pitcher is set to take over here. Daniel Murphy will stride in again. He singled and later scored his first time. Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. Well, this is the chance you take when you work up in the zone like this. I mean, this is right in his happy zone, and he jumps all over it and sends it right over the wall. Two. Yeah, that's a very hittable location right there. Not where you want to be when you're facing a guy. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Well, the Rangers add on thanks to this solo home run. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rangers' seven. Willine Rosario will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Bobby Parnell will come in. Bases become loaded now with two gone. Yeah, and he makes the right decision holding him at third there. A lot of people might say, why not send him? Well, it's because you don't need one run. You need lots of runs. No sense taking any chances at this point. Here's the first offering. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and oh. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But a foul ball, 1-1. One and one. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Throw in time, so a good pitch there gets him out of the bases loaded jam. Rock, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0 and 2. Change up, and he ain't buying it 1 and 2. And that's his strikeout pitch right there. You know, you'll see a lot of guys swing right over the top of that one. That's a great job there just to hold off. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at 2 and 2. And when he's down 0-2, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2-2, two and two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Justin Morneau will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. Oh, he is intimidating. There's no arguing that. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2-0 and oh now. Now, you've got a six-run lead out there, and there's no reason not to come right at guys. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. 
And that'll be the one that ends it. And the Rangers have taken game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, and with that, you already guarantee yourself no worse than a split in this quick two-game series as they take the victory here in the opener. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. And guys, the Rangers couldn't have done it tonight without the contributions of this player. Giovanni Soto, strike a pose. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, he came through with a couple of hits, but more importantly, that big home run, which really led his guys to this victory. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Rangers come out on top, seven to one. Good night from Final Denver. Line score for our ball game tonight, for the victorious Rangers, seven runs, eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Rockies, one run on 14 hits, one error, and 13 runners left on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 57 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game RTD trains on the C-Line to Mineral and the E-Line to Lincoln are available down the street at Union Station. Bus service is available outside Gate B on the corner of 22nd and Blake Streets.